This video is a bit different from the last couple I've made. What I'm doing is, you know, a couple of prophecy and, and then, you know, one sort of more about the, the Christian faith sort of thing. And this one's more geared up towards Christians. I'll tell you who this is geared up towards. This is geared up towards people that maybe are thinking of setting up a YouTube channel. So I'm going to put this alongside the other video I've made about how to set up a YouTube channel, you know, a Christian YouTube channel. Um, this goes alongside it and it's more, I suppose, I don't know really, a sort of the leadership side of it. So how does this video all come about? Well, I was sitting the other day, it's normally around about Sunday, Monday, I start thinking, well, I've got a couple of videos on the drawing board, but they're not really prophecy ones again. They just take so long to, to get them out there, you know, they, they take a lot of work. I thought they're not going to make it, you know, they're not going to make it in time. So, Lord, what do you want me to do? You know, what video? do you want me to do and this is what I always get just silence <laughs> just complete silence and it's like you're talking to yourself you? and I, I just put that out there I don't, I don't put prayer or anything I just I'm just sitting there thinking or sometimes I just sit there on my own I just say Lord what video do you want me to make I've got I'm at a loose end this week I just don't know what to make but anyway within 24 hours I was cycling through central London I think Notting Hill Gate if you're familiar with London and I was, at, I was near the tube, and normally I, I managed to get through the lights there always. And but this time the light, the lights went red, which is unusual, you know. And I just sat there, and I wasn't really thinking or anything. And suddenly this thought came out of the blue, and this is how the Lord works, yeah. And people say, well, it's just a thought, you know. But this hasn't come from me. But this is what it was, and it's just a few words. To lead is to serve. That's what came into my head, and I was sitting there, and I was like, you know, suddenly is pricked up to lead is to serve and i'm you know i've had this so many times and a lot of my videos have been a result of this something just coming out of the blue sometimes i'm staring out the window you know to lead is to serve i think well, what that what's that all about i think i've heard this somewhere before and i have I, i've uh, there's a woman i follow she um has talked about this saying that you know christianity is not about top-down leadership which is what you see in the institutional church it's more there's no hierarchy it's just we're all equal in the eyes of the lord isn't it we've all got specific roles to play and we are part of the body you know it's like saying the eyes are more important than the ear or the ear is more important than the hands they're all they're all equal and, that, and that's the same situation with the um the christian faith isn't it so that's what this video is all about so what i want to do is pull up a few bible quotes and really it's just for somebody that maybe if you're running a channel it doesn't matter if it's a ministry or whether you're a teacher or a preacher or you're an end times news or you know which is partly what i do and, and you're a watchman like me then you are in a sense people are looking to you for information and they are following you aren't they it's it's you know you're like i suppose like a shepherd and you've got a flock of sheep isn't it and it's throughout the bible you see it isn't it it's it's even in the old testament moses all these names joshua you know they they're they they all leaders of some sort weren't they they were singled out and when they led they served didn't they even moses served i think and i think that's what that's all about so I, so what i did is i, I had a look at um the bible so i, I always do this so lead is to serve. So I put lead, serve, and leadership and that sort of thing in, in the Bible app. And, and stuff was coming up and nothing really what I was looking for. And then I think I was down McDonald's having me a cup of tea like I normally do. First thing in the morning. I thought, let's just chuck it in on the web. And I suddenly I just put in to lead is to serve. You know, Bible quote. I just put that in there. And suddenly a whole string of stuff came up. And then I looked and I see this one. I can't remember the name of the site now. And I went through the quotes and bang, this one just leapt out. It just leapt out. And then I see another one and another one. And I thought, yeah, let's make a video about that. Put those quotes out there. Just a, just a couple and that's it. And that's what it is. If you're going to be in any position where you are in a sort of leadership position, where you've got followers, then it's not about ordering people around and telling people what to do. In the Christian faith I'm talking about, it's the exact reverse you become a servant of those people you're leading them yeah but you become a servant don't you they look to you for direction they look to you for information they look to you for all that sort of thing uh maybe some insight or whatever isn't it that maybe they don't have 
And they look to you for that information, isn't it? Or maybe you're just seeing things in the Bible that they haven't seen. But, but that's what this video is all about. So I'm going to bring these Bible quotes up on the screen. And it illustrates that, you know, if you look at the world leaders, and when you look at, say, I don't know, the sports, I like, say football managers, you see them on the edge of the pitch, they're shouting and screaming, and <laughs> they're, they're worldly titles and positions, aren't they? Yeah? And it's part of a hierarchy. Whenever you're part of a hierarchy, that's it. You know you're, you're part of the world, isn't it? When you are on the Christian faith, then although I'm running a channel here and I have a number of followers, I don't see myself as any difference to anybody else that's following this channel. Can you understand? You know, it's I'm just sharing things with you on the level. You know, I'm not on a pedestal above looking down, although Jesus did do that in the Sermon on the Mount. He was there up looking down, wasn't he? But then he had to elevate himself because of the number of people. But I'm just on the same level, you know. And we've all got different jobs to do, haven't we? And my job is to end times news, analysis, and Bible prophecy, looking at that, analysing that, and a watchman on the wall, watching for developing events that indicate that we're getting close to the second coming, isn't it? But, like I said, I'll put these video, well, they put these Bible quotes at the end, and that's what I came up across. But that's what it's all about, isn't it? That's what I'm saying. My advice, if you're setting up a YouTube channel, you will become a leader but in the christian sense you are horizontal hierarchy yeah it's horizontal it's not a vertical top down sort of leadership thing it's jesus washed his disciples feet doesn't he and there's a bible quote contained within that and they, and they ask him what why are you doing this you know you're the boss sort of thing isn't it you know but and it, there is that bible quote which i will stick at the end what he says and that's what i'm saying so and if you are in a leadership position within the Christian faith, within any leadership position, you've got to be prepared to be heckled, to have fingers waved at your face. You're going to have people trying to correct you or say that this isn't right. There's always going to be somebody that doesn't agree with what you're saying, isn't it? That's something I think it's taken me a couple of years to get my head around that. But that's the video. To lead is to serve. Yeah. If you're put in a position like all these prominent names in the Bible, you are serving the masses of people behind you. It could be 10, 15, 20, 10, 15, 20,000. It doesn't matter, does it? Or well, hundreds of thousands. I'm not at that level. But it doesn't matter the numbers in material. It's You've got a flock of sheep there that are listening to what you're saying. You've got to be very careful what you say. I think there's a Bible quote about teaching. It's the hardest thing to do because it's so easy to correct, isn't it? And say, well, what you're saying there isn't strictly correct. You're always going to have somebody there shaking their heads and saying, well, it's 99% right, but there's 1% isn't right. There's somewhere, you know. I think if you just stick to the word and always use that to back up what you're saying, then you shouldn't have any problems. Unless it's something like, say, a personal testimonial then it's just you talking about your experience and that's, that's something a bit different you don't have to put bible quotes and that there but certainly i th this video i thought i'd make it i don't expect many views on it but that came into my mind this is a prime example yeah of i'm sure you know i've got christian followers on here and i've got the world as well you know worldly followers complete heathens probably you know but they're interested in what what's going on they, they know something's not right with the world and they're and they're latching on just to get some sort of insight. They're not interested in the Christian thing, but they're just interested to see what's, why all this stuff is happening, isn't it? But I know if, if you're in the Christian faith, you probably get the same thing. You get these things come in your head or some, some form of communication. You've got to always check against the word. I know you probably hear it so many times. Is it in the word? Is it there? And it's there in black and white, isn't it? I'll show you. I'll show you the quotes. And I looked, and a tear came to my eye. I thought, good grief, yeah, that's coming from the law. That's not coming from anywhere else. If it wasn't in the Bible, then I wouldn't have made this video. That's the thing. Anyway, Mrs. Frank of the Twelve Gates, keep your eyes firmly fixed on the Lord. And as always, peace, love, and joy. And a prophecy video, hopefully, next week, keeping it under wraps what it actually is.